Let's see how good this camera adjustment is. Okay, it's not that good. This is weird. It, it's weird. I got the camera hanging on this contraption because this does not work anymore. But this is the new baby, new bad boy. So it's weird. I don't have a, I don't have a round thing to look at, so I don't even know where to look. It's right there. I can't look away in time. You know what I mean? D5600. Alright. I have to start off. I'm getting used to looking over there. I have to start off by saying that uh, when I bought this camera, I bought it with the with the kit. Not this, but the cleaning kit and a lens and some other stuff from Best Buy. And it was 789 bucks, I think. Seven eighty nine. I just went on line and found a place called Jet Cameras. And Jet Cameras online had this one. This is the newer model of that, I guess, fifty six hundred versus fifty five hundred. The the body only kit was four twenty nine, and then I paid another one hundred and twenty nine for a three year warranty. Um, and then he he got me to buy this new battery and charger setup. It was another fifty bucks. So I paid one hundred seven at four seventy nine, four seventy nine for the camera, the charger, and the battery, which is a substantially better deal than what I bought that for at Best Buy. So if you need a camera, Jet Cameras Online. That's the They've got good deals on all different kinds of cameras. They can help you out. The guy called me after I ordered and uh, talked me through some stuff, upselling me, but at the same time, it was good information. And uh, that's that. So here it is. Here's the baby. It is exactly the same camera as this one. But what we got here. Here's a brand new camera. All right. Let's do a power on. Ta -da! Gotta set it all up. Done. There it is. There's the normal screen. Uh, lens not attached. There we go. Hey, look at that. Let's hit record, see if it works. Ta -da, it's doing it. It died. Works. Got a new camera. Nikon D5600. Jet cameras, check it out. If you need cameras or batteries or whatever, they can hook you up. I apologize that I still have this crappy lens. It's not crappy, it's a good lens, but it's scratched up. Actually, not screaming scratched, it's got burn marks from welding. This is the next thing I'm going to replace. And it will be sooner than later, it's just got to get over the, the pain of buying this one, you know what I mean?
What is that? Okay, part of the deal for buying this, part of the negotiations with the dude was gonna give me a new seat. Well, like an idiot, I didn't specify that he was going to install it. So when I received it, I didn't have a seat. I had to email him, we went back and forth for a while. It's right there, they finally delivered it. Now I have the, the dubious distinction of installing it. And it's a good thing too, because my the seat that's in it is done. I'm really glad that I specified, because it was just torn. You know, the, the fiber, the, the seat's just torn a little bit. Well, just the whole pan's rotten out. It just broke in half when I was messing with it. So it's uh, it's due, it's time. So that's what we're going to do today. Favorite easy chair. And of course, this compact is playing on your home stereo. So go on, indulge yourself. That's right, kick off your shoes. Put your feet up. Lean back and just enjoy the melody. After all, you Susie was a savage beast. There goes the seat right there. Okay, do not remind me to forget to take you out of here. All right, so here is the deal. Look at this seat. It's not even hardly hooked anymore. It is rusted to crap. good. Man, look at this. Nice new seat. It's even a case. Got a good pan. Yeah, boy! Okay, let's close her up. It's the worst part about this. You gotta hold the seat up while you close it. There's the new seat. And that's that. And we're live. I got the test cut done, right? We got to put it in the new auger press that I built. When I'm looking in this screen, everything is the same color back here. It's all just metal and so it looks like you can't see. I'm hoping you can. Here's our ring. This is our auger press. So there's a slit in this ring right here so that this piece can move independent. This piece will be pinched in here, this top piece will be pinched in here, and this will be pushed out and stretch it and make a uh, flight for the auger. This is a test run but we're gonna see how it works. Look at that. 
think. <laughs>